G'day Reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're starting our series Fail Proof Reef. You've already seen the tank that we've taken down to make way for a big custom reef aquarium. And today we're going to show you the tank and we're going to deliver it to the client. So this is our tank. Given that the back side has got black vinyl on it, there's not much to see from this angle. But what we're going to do is lift it onto the trailer. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to pull it as far back as we can. So it's overhanging the trolley. And then we're going to put that end down and gently uh, pull the trolley out as we lift the other end. <laughs> Hopefully it makes more sense when we do it. Should we give it a go? Sliding on the trolley, further, further, further. Okay, about there. Yep. You're ready to go down? Yep. And now you're going to come out here. Alright, so what we have is a tank which is something around about two meters long. It's around about, I think, 650, 700 wide. And looking at this, I think it's 600 high. So you might be able to tell, I can't exactly remember the dimensions, but it's a very nice sized tank. We have a Kelfo overflow on the left hand end. And there's four holes for our plumbing that's going to drain down into the sump area. You can see that the back of the tank is blacked out. That's vinyl on the back of the tank. This end is also blacked out. We've got Fomax, it's like an acrylic that's on the inside of the tank, covering up what will be the plumbing and the Calfo area. There's weir combing for the water to flow down. And we have got uh, polished edges. So there's no trim over the corners of this tank because this tank is going to be viewed from that corner and from the front and the side and the end. So the corners are particularly important that they're as beautiful as possible. So it's a really nice tank, it's a really good size. Let's get this to the client so we can set up the brand new Fail Proof Reef. So here we go, we're all strapped in. We've got our tank, which most importantly, we've secured in a way that it's not gonna move forwards and backwards. There's two ratchet straps. So both those corners have got uh, protection so that we're not going to rub on those beautiful polished edges. And we've also ensured that the actual ratchet part is nowhere near the glass. It's very easy to chip or scratch your glass if a ratchet is too close and is actually rubbing on the glass. We've also got foam lids. We use our fish box lids uh, down in between the tank and the trailer. There's no way they can go anywhere. And there's also no way the tank can come any closer to the edge of the trailer. Our trolley is well and truly secured over there with a, one of the larger ratchet straps. So it's not going anywhere. So we're good to go. Let's hit the road and take this tank to the client. Whilst Brandon and Tom are getting our glass grips secured so we can have control when we're pulling the tank off the tray, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to pull the mat a little bit back so that it's hanging over the edge. Probably the greatest risk to the tank is the edge of the tray and having the rubber mat hanging over the edge just lessens the chance that we'll do the tank any damage. We ready? Um, if you want to grab the, the mat and this. Oh, the mat went nowhere. Alright, cool. So, what I'm thinking is Tom operates the trolley. No, no, no. So, Brandon and I are going to pull the tank back. We're going to come all the way out to about here. Hopefully, we're still in shot. And then we're going to lift it up. The trolley will go in, push it all the way in, and then we'll leave the tank back down again. All right, you ready? All right, let's go. Oops. Fast. Not up yet, not up yet. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, lever it down, pull back. No lock on the trolley yet, is there? No. So let's get the tank into the garage. We have our tank on the trolley. It's in the garage here, and we've got to move it through this narrow doorway. Now our plan is, because we can't use more than two people, one on each end, our plan is to use a safety stop, so a foam box, just after we go through the doorway, so we can put it down and then assess our next move. Ready? One, two, three. Good. Take it. It's not that. Nah. Oh, it's tight. Oh, there we go. Ready? Three on the count of three. Yeah. You got a count as it? Yeah, you count. Three, two, one. That's the count one, actually. So here we are. We're very close. We've got one more move that we have to put this tank up onto the cabinet. Now the challenge with this move is that the tank is actually going to recess inside the cabinet. So we can't just put it on the edge of the cabinet. We have to actually drop it in place. So what we've done, we've got a couple of pieces of timber which are going to sit right here. So when we lift the tank up, we'll drop them on the timber, push the tank back into position and then use our glass grips to remove the timber. Well, that's the plan anyway. Let's see how we go. One, two, three. in place so we finally have our tank in place and boy it looks good we've really got a color coding system happening here of course we've got the black of the back of the tank but check out the filter it's a black and white acrylic Hamali sump and boy it looks good so the next stage of fail proof reef we're going to look at how the plumbing is put together the filtration the lighting that's going to go on this tank this is going to be a really special build and I hope you can follow us along for the ride. Thanks for watching Gallery Aquatic TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.